So we have chemistry, let go of control issues, finance and career. And there goes, oh my God, you see, give your relationship a chance. Okay, so, you know, to me, this chemistry is, you know, there is a pool with you both. There is a strong magnetic attraction here. There is a pool with you both. And I think this is where the questioning is. So let go of control issues. Some of you, maybe this person is not the most financially stable. I'm feeling for some of you, for some of you, it's this, this thing where you feel like this person limits you or holds you back or their ways hold you back um, in terms of moving forward. Maybe you guys are not in the same page in terms of, um, you know, your, your goals, finance and careers, like your goals in life. And this is where the questioning is. Now here, the, the give your relationship a chance is what you're questioning. Do I continue or do I stay? Here we have release, yep, release your ex and love yourself first. And this feels like a decision moment. So let's see what else Varric gives me here, Libra. What else do we have for Libra? Your season is up here already, right, Libra? I think it's already tomorrow. I'm recording this on the full moon energy, so you guys are up next. So it would make sense, all this decision making and plans and like trying to straighten things out. What else spirit for this energy for Libra? You know, spirit has been giving me, a lot of the guidances have really been towards the sign specific about connections so i'm not surprised about this energy also there's been a lot of new beginnings so i feel like people are being presented with choices right now all right sorry i'm gonna focus i think i know they... what else all right what do we got there we go so sacrifice which is judgment spiritual strength there's a lot of thinking the nines are the hermit energy which we're coming out of Virgo season and there was a lot of soul searching a lot of hermit appeared in most of the reads every read I've done hermit was present and there was just a lot of depths in here this is the perspective here the new perspective with the hangman so there's a way there's a holding back that's what I'm feeling there is a holding back here and yep throat chakra and spiritual union a, a, a conversation needs to take place are we on the same playing field um this is really a time to decide here we have foundation and achievements again i feel like this is about your goals in life and then suffering in silence another nine which is hermit energy you have patience and planning in the bottom which is the seven pentacles are we here to build and i it's like i'm feeling I'm feeling like an energy of someone who's like i'm ready to move forward and i i want to be happy i you know i'm hearing that clear i just want to be happy and i want stability and, you know, this is an energy of someone questioning whether this connection really is in alignment with them at all. All right, give me more of the sacrifice. Why is the hangman here? Yeah, making decisions. Two of pentacles, five of wands, and ten of, ten of swords in the bottom. This is a battle. Someone really needs to make a decision. This is just... It feels very difficult. It feels like a challenging time. Give me more the sacrifice. Yeah, think about this strategically. Pentacles, so nine of pen, Knight of Pentacles. This is really strategizing here. Just being really methodical about what these next stage, this next stage, this next step is. Queen of Swords. Do you cut this off? This is about getting clear. Um, some of you can be dealing with another air sign, but this is your energy. I really just think this is your energy, Libra. You're embodying an, your energy, whether you cut this off, you've invested enough time, there's enough time to have that that you've seen, things are not moving along, getting more spiritual strength. Page of Swords. You know, I and immediately... I'm picking up just immaturity with this. It's almost like the conversations start, but they never really finish. And it gets very, um, like they get very smart with the mouth, I'm feeling. And it's just nine of wands, very exhausting. It's like this cycle of repetitive conversations. 
I do feel your person's gonna regret this or they're regretting this. So everyone's on a different timeline. Yeah, five of pentacles, nine of swords. This is frustrating. It's not, um, five of pentacles is that lack. And I feel like you guys just, it's a, either a financial burden for some of you or just truly not, there's no progress. And someone feels extremely frustrated with the little progress that the connection's driving to. And it's like, there could be so much chemistry and like, it's like, I mean, we're great here, but this, I feel like the big factor, which is why this is so much in the mind, has to do with the stability of the connection. And are we in the same page? And we're just wrong. Ooh, I flipped. Queen of Cups. So emotions, obviously emotions. Obviously, there are going to be emotions here. Because it doesn't mean that you don't, you don't care about your person. To be in this energy, you have once loved your person. You have once cared for your person and you saw them differently. But something has transitioned in one of the stroke chakra. Wow, there goes that ten of swords again. Page of cups, eight of swords, and the seven of cups. This is a lot of confusion. A lot of confusion. And this conversation needs to happen. And again, there goes king of cups. So we saw queen of cups and then emperor. Wow, with the tower, three of cups. This is whether you guys stay or go. Someone is really in this confused stage of having this conversation, an emotional dialogue. Um, again, another page. It's not, it's, or some of you can be dealing with a younger person. I just feel like this person, you have, it's a hard time to be on the same page because this person just mentally and emotionally is just very I, if yeah it feels kind of immature just not on your your page and it keeps you stuck and confused and it's almost like sometimes it's like how much do i really care about this person i feel like this really has to do with an honest conversation and there goes that five of wands still shows up it's too much conflict with this energy it, it, it's a really hard time and this is causing a lot of confusion. Yeah, someone wants a new beginning to walk. Someone wants to leave. Two of Wands. It's like making a decision for Ace of Pentacles, a whole different physical world. Like, this is to start over, I'm feeling. You know, even like finding a new soulmate here. It's like, um, can I connect with a new connection here? Give me one of Two of Cups here. Wow. Oh. Yeah, you guys, look at this. Seven of Wands, the High Priestess, the Empress, and the Ace of Cups. Yeah. So now you can be dealing with a Pisces, a Libra. You know, it's it's literally, do we get married? Do I see this person as wife, husband material? Do I see a future? Very guarded. Yes, there's love. Um, but there is i feel a a spiritual distance it's just it just feels not in alignment so when there's more someone has more depth because we have the pages here someone has more depth than the other and someone truly wants to level up their life with this hype this empress they want abundance they want they want to get things in order and things are slow very slow slow to progress it's a very stressful time this requires a decision um I don't know. This feels like a very, even I'm confused with the energy because I feel like, oh my God, I don't know what to say, what to do. What's my decision? I mean, uh, this is kind of fear of change because if you already feel this, maybe it's, it's that time to go. And let's see what your guidance is. Here. What, what other, what is the guidance for Libra? What's the outcome, potential outcome here? What's the potential outcome for Libra? Wow. I love that spirit gave us the magician. It's it's your choice. You know, the magician's about karma, alchemization, making changes, taking action. We can repeat the same cycle. Right? The infinity. We can we can go another round with this person. But are you sacrificing this King of Pentacles? Are you sacrificing stability? 
you know, it's really up to you whether you want to take this. So you, this is an alchemization. You're, it's almost like you get to make this change yourself and you know what you want. Yep. Look at this blockage, memories, time to face the triggers. There are probably a lot of memories with your person and wow. And then here, bottom of the deck, moving on. Don't look back. You're not going that way. You know, there's there's a lot of attachments to memories. There is going to be memories with your person, but if there is no progress, I feel that's why there's no need to look back. Some of you are going to just kind of stick with your person. Maybe things can work out, but there's a lot of questioning and this is definitely a need to take action right now in terms of what your intentions are, what your needs are, and what you, how you want life to be. So Spirit, what is the message and guidance for Libra? Wow, healing, yeah. Solitude. This is a time to focus on you and heal your inner wounds, traumas, and inner child. Use this time to be by yourself and work on yourself. So this is an alchemization stage to really you know, not let the memories of the connection keep you in this stuck energy or stagnant energy or not. Fears of the change of progression. So this is going to take time, and but it's going to require solitude. And in that solitude, you're going to know what changes to make the puzzle. Let's do other um, energy here for you. I've spent so long outside of my body that I've forgotten how soft and strong she really is. She welcomes me back with open arms and reminds me that I always have a home. And this is about coming home to you so you can get a clear mind. So for a lot of you, I'm really feeling like this, this is a time to be able to transmute this. This is definitely a releasing. And a lot of you, it is time to spend alone. And a lot of you are still trying to decide um, or you feel like your person's deciding so you guys know where the shoe fits here But I just feel like this is a message of someone who's really confused um, About what the next stages are in this connection and something's holding things back But for a lot of you because it's so much about moving on in solitude It's really time to move on. So Libra, I'm gonna leave it right there. Please like share subscribe